What's going on, y'all? R2 the Double E. Coming back with part two of my uh, 2019 video game awards, nominations, thoughts, and reactions. Yeah, man. I mean, like, I'm looking at this, and I'm just like, bro, how do you, how do you not have Luigi's Mansion 3 there for adventure game? Or, or not even adventure game, but, you know, you don't have, you don't have a, puzzler, a puzzle category this year. But, uh, or even family game. How do you not have Luigi's Mansion 3 there? You know, you, have, you made it all Nintendo games, so you might as well throw one more in there. You know, how do you not have Astral Chain for a Game of the Year nominee? It had a higher rating than, than uh, Death Stranding, and Death Stranding is nominated for Game of the Year, Art Direction, Audio Design, all this bullshit. I mean, uh, to be real, Keeley has just got to, you know, open his mouth a little, and somebody needs to go in there and pry Kojima's sack out of there, because it's just ridiculous, man. Come on. I mean, I hate to be vulgar, but it's, that's, you, you're doing a lot of head bobbing on Kojima right now, uh, Keeley. It's just ridiculous, man. Um, you know, games like that are not, not in there. I mean, man, you had, um, that was 2018, so I wouldn't say that. Man. I was going to think about another game there that I wanted nominated, but that would have been for last year. Um, yeah, I mean, like, like, like I said, Luigi's Mansion, Astral Chain. Um, now you had, um, fuck, man, I just went blank, bro. But yeah, in any event, uh, the, 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 nom the nominees for some of these categories. Oh, yeah, like I said, how, how, do, you, how do you have Borderlands 3? Right? An action adventure nominee nominee. And then Apex Legends in action nominee. What the fuck is the difference between those two games? <laughs> what is the difference? You know, you might as well have said action slash shooter and action slash adventure. Instead of just action and action slash adventure. What the fuck is the difference, dude? You know, and then at the same time, if you just felt like you didn't have enough games to justify a cer a certain award for a certain genre, then you don't do that genre. Stop trying to stuff games where they don't belong. You know, it's ridiculous, man. This is the kind of stuff that kills the credibility of the show. And all the momentum and all the goodness they built up over the years making this what it is has, in, has in essence, just gone down the shitter, dude. Because you have this 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 blatant, but like, like, like we're not even trying to hide anymore how biased I am to my boy Kojima and his game. That's what Keely just did. He's like, fuck what the best games are. I'm going to nominee my homeboy, my friend, and put his stuff up there as many fucking times as I got to get him an award. That's, that's basically what you just did. And again, like I said, I, I, I don't think Kojima is anything special, dude. I really don't, man. I, I've never been. Like, he thinks of himself like he's on the magnitude of a Shigeru Miyamoto. And it's like, nigga, no, you're not. <laughs> not in this universe. <laughs> not in. Not, the, the world can end and God could start it over again. And in that second world, you still wouldn't be in the same stratosphere as Shigeru Miyamoto or Eiji Onuma. I'll even take a step, I'll, I'll even take it more old, uh, old school with another non-Nintendo developer, Ed Anunziata, the creator of Echo the Dolphin. You ain't him. You, like, you, 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 this guy is constantly enamored with making games with over-convoluted, complicated storylines, and then when the majority of the public is like, what the fuck are you doing, Kojima? We don't get it. He's like, oh, that's because you guys don't have the right taste for my games. Like he just said about Death Stranding, North American gamers are more about first-person shooters. You know, it's, it's the, the, the French and the English, they have a better, you know, b better acceptance for games like this, a higher artistic uh, taste for games like this. Shut the fuck up. Your game bombed, dude. For what you were hyping, it bombed. Get over it. Jump to the next one. Keely, let your boy fail. If you're really his friend, let him fail so that he don't do another garbage-ass game. I mean, dude, it, this is the kind of shit that makes me mad because I, I, I'm still going to watch the Game Awards because I'm gonna, I, I like seeing the industry celebrated. But I can't lie, there is this dark taint of bullshit over this year's proceedings because I can't, I can't consider this show, for the most part, legitimate. I really can't. It's like the only category you got right really was Family Game of the Year, but you put nothing but Nintendo games in there. Like Sony and Microsoft and even PC don't have family friendly games. That's like Keeley's little like jab at Nintendo. Like this is the kitty company. This is the family company. This is the hardcore shit over here. Shut the fuck up, man. Oh my god. Art direction. You don't have Astro Chain in the art direction category. You're gonna tell me that Astro Chain's art direction isn't fucking magnificent. I don't have to play the game just by looking at stills, let alone gameplay footage and reviews and video reviews. A fucking child, a, a, a Cyclops with just one eye can see that that is an amazing art direction. But no, Death Stranding. 
Really? <laughs> Dust Stranding? <laughs> Stupid motherfuckers. But, oh, man. Uh, what else was it that I found laughable, man? Oh, man. It's... Game of the Year. My vote there. Let me see it again. What the fuck are these nominees are for Game of the Year? Game of the Year. My Game of the Year is going to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Because even though it came out... Uh, the Outer Worlds is another good one. That's that's not a bad nomination right there. Outer Worlds... And, and, and Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, I heard is amazing. I haven't played it, so I can't comment on that. Outer Worlds, I've seen a lot of gameplay footage of it. I think it looks phenomenal. I can't wait till it comes to Switch next year. Uh, but... But I think Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, with, with the, the constant flow of DLC and, and new spirit events and all that, it constantly being, you know, fresh and in the mind of gamers throughout an entire year, I think that is the game of the year. If, if these are the nominees, I would say Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, for fighting game, I'd say Mortal Kombat 11. I don't think anything has been as fucking phenomenal in, in the hardcore fighting space as Mortal Kombat 11. I know Smash Bros. fans are going to get pissed at me, but I do not consider Smash Bros. a hardcore fighter. I don't. I think you can get hardcore into it. I think you can get real competitive in it. And I think it has a great fighting system. But a hardcore fighter, like a traditional legitimate fighter, I don't I don't see it as that. Because I see it as a platformer slash fighter. I see it as a party game slash fighter. I see it as a, as a social game. Mortal Kombat 11 is a fighter. And the only other real fighter... Jump, jump Force, get the fuck out of here. The only real fighter... <laughs> the only real fighter that I saw in there that, could, that, that, that you could put up against um, Mortal Kombat 11... Well, Samurai Showdown and Dead or Alive 6 and Mortal Kombat 11 is just fucking galaxies ahead of those games. So, fighting game of the year, I would say Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, with all these fucking shooters, and I don't see a category. Let me see this. I don't see a, a shooter of the year or first-person shooter. Let me see if I'm all right about that. Family game, fighting game, fresh in the game, game direction. Games for impact. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Find the game, mobile game, multiplayer game. Let me see. We'll got multiplayer game real quick. Multiplayer game. We got Apex Legends, Borderlands Three. Even though they were in separate action categories, remember that fucking stupidity. Uh, they're both there. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Tetris Ninety Nine. That's not a bad one. Uh, let me see what else we got. Tom Clancy's The Division Two, and that's it. How is Super Smash Bros. not in your multiplayer game of the year nominee? Can, can anybody answer that for me? Can anybody answer me? I mean, just by seeing the lack of Smash Brothers in that category for nominees, I, I've lost like 10 million brain cells. Just, just, by, just, by, just by fucking allowing myself to look at that. That retardation. Smash Brothers Ultimate not, not only should be in there, but will wipe the floor with all those games as, as far as multiplayer game of the year. Again, re, again retarded. This is, this is just not, not credible. Just look at the fucking... When you just look at these nominees for these categories and these genres, it, it's just not credible. Let me see what else. Uh, narrative. <laughs> Death Stranding's going to be in there. I don't even have to question. Ongoing game. Performance. Role-playing game. Score. Music. Sports. Racing game. It should be two different categories, but whatever. Strategy game. And VR. Okay, so you have no shooter or first-person shooter of the year. No shooter of the year, but you got... Gears 5, Apex Legends, Borderlands 3, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. That's four already that I've mentioned that you have scattered throughout this fucking, these different uh, genres, these different categories. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand how you guys could have been on such a good track, trending upward and upward every year, making it better and better, only to tell the collective gaming public to open their mouths so that you can squat over them and take a massive steaming shit right down their throats. Because that's what you just did with this. It, this is horrendous. This, this is awful. Like, this is not even... I, I can't defend this, man. I really can't. As much as I love the Game Awards, as much as I love what it's supposed to represent, what it represents this year is bias and corruption. That's what it is. Nepotism. That's what it is. Because there's no way that Death Stranding is nominated for all that shit. Death Stranding, I'm going to be honest with you. And if there's guys, people who watch my channel who like the game, more power to you, man. As far as I am concerned, my personal opinion, Death Stranding should be nominated for the most overhyped fucking piece of shit disappointment this side of 2019. For fucking two years. Kojima's new masterpiece. Epic scale, Norman Reedus. Connect America again. Oh my god. And do what? Deliver packages. Piss on mushrooms and try not to fall down. 
Get the fuck out of here, man. Oh, my God. When you got Luigi's Mansion 3, Astro Chain, Devil May Cry, you got Resident Evil 2, you got Mortal Kombat, you got all these great fucking games and all these different genres. And Death Stranding is what gets nominated ten times. And Control got nominated four or five times easily that I saw there. It's shit like that that makes me wish I did this video on a Friday so I can at least have some wine. Because you need some alcohol to go through this shit, man. Holy God, man. Anyways, man, let me close this fucking blasphemous website. Uh, yeah, man. I, I, I'm not a fan, bro. I mean, I'm, I'm going to watch it again because there's also going to be announcement and reveals and stuff like that. And, and I live for shit like that. But wow, man. Wow. So, like I said, so many developers, so many games that got snubbed. Or, or, or like, Fire Emblem is an interesting case. They had RPG of the Year, if I'm not mistaken. It was not nominated for RPG of the Year. But it was nominated for Strategy Game of the Year. It should have been nominated for both. It is both an RPG and the combat mechanics are, are strategic. It's a strategy-based combat game. I mean, not combat game. Strategy-based RPG. How does it not get nominated for RPG of the Year? Why? Because they don't like if that Nintendo game gets RPG of the Year... But something that's like niche, something that even more niche than RPG, something something like oh, strategy, like, oh, that's cute. But we'll give that to Fire Emblem. We'll put Fire Emblem there. We won't dare put it in RPG of the Year because God forbid it wins. Uh, like I said, man. Uh, and again, y'all know me, man. I'm not one of those conspiracy theorists, dude. But when I smell bullshit, I'll point it out, dude. Back in the day, in, in, the, in 2006, 7, 8, around there, where it was the Wii, PS3, and 360... I called out IGN and other publications on their bullshit. Go back and check my history. I called them out on their bullshit, on their anti-Nintendo bias that was going on at that time. Because the Wii wasn't high definition. And it was motion controls. But the 360 and the PS3 were all these ultra-powerful boxes. They never wanted to give any love to the Nintendo games, even when they were scoring 9s and 10s, like Mario Galaxy. I call you out on your bullshit, man. I don't give a fuck. So... Anyways, man, uh, that, that's been uh, these two videos, man. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Those are my thoughts on the Video Game Awards nominee, nominees for all the different all the different categories. Where the fuck they got some of these categories? There are seven fucking awards, I think, for esports. Look, man, I'm going to be honest with you. and You, can hit, you, can, you guys can get mad. Clickbait, whatever. You, I don't give a fuck. Esports is not a sport. Esports coach of the year. Get the fuck out of here. You mean the guy that tells the other ones how to play? Get the, get the fuck out of here, man. It's a video game, man. And we're fucking winning millions of dollars by sitting there competing against each other. Only in fucking America, dude. Anyways, man. God bless y'all. Stay game in peace.